tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about boolean operator in cell scripting here. Yeah? So here already I have written this script. This script is very much similar to my previous script and that's the reason I have written the code, right? So here basically I am using bash uh, cell and here I am taking two inputs from the keyboard, right? I'll ask whenever I'll run this script then uh, it will ask to the user to enter first number then second number. First number is going to store it into N1 and second number is going to store into N2. And both numbers just I'm printing over here. Now main thing is here boolean operators. So here you can see hyphen a hyphen a basically represents uh, uh, basically this is nothing but the logical and operator. If both the operands are true, then the condi condition becomes true. Otherwise it is false, right? And similarly here hyphen o is nothing but the, this is logical uh, or operator, right? We might have heard about logical or or if one of the operands is true then condition becomes true so this is uh this is basically logical and means and percent and percent you, you would have seen in the many, many programming language right and this is this is similar to or logical or operator right and that we will use in the cell scripting so here let's say i'm checking a uh, number number one and number two number one number two we can access using dollar symbol right so here I am as checking if uh, number one is greater than 100 or not and here this is logical and you have to consider right. Uh, if this condition becomes false then next condition is not gonna check that's how basically logical and operator works right. So if this uh, uh, this uh, this operands gets true right if uh, value of uh, number n1 is greater than 100 then this next condition is going to check and if both the numbers n1 and n2 uh, is greater than 100 then uh, that then, then statement is going to print right both numbers are greater than 100 else this statement both numbers are not greater than 100 is going to print right similarly I have one more if condition there I am checking if either of the number is greater than 100 or not so that that we can check something like that right and here I am using or operator right if this operand becomes true then next operand is not going to evaluate these things we have to keep in mind right if first operand gets false then next operand is going to execute right so both so when you have a logical or operator right then uh, left operand becomes true then next operand is not going to check right if left operand is uh, going to become false then next operand right operand is going to check right and either of the number is greater than 100 then this statement is going to print else we will get this statement right let's execute this uh, cell script so here i'm going to ex execute cell script so my okay so sorry guys my terminal is not responding so here i'm going to run this cell script my cell script name is boolean operators dot sh so i'm writing period then forward sign then boolean operand dot sh so I am entering first number 112 and then let's say I am entering second number let's say 80 right then it is printing both numbers are not greater than the 0 because of these conditions both numbers are not greater than 0 this is coming right this is the expected output right one of the number is less than 100 and that's why this condition becomes false and else part gets executed now in this uh, second if condition or uh, as first number we have entered 112 so this condition is going to become true so this condition is uh, going to execute right and that's how we get the output let's say this execute this uh, escape for one more at this time I'm going to enter both number greater than let's say 100 in, in that case both number values getting printed and then saying both numbers are greater than 100 and second if condition saying that either of uh, number is greater than one right right so so this is the expected output so when we will write cell escape then instead of m percent m percent we'll use this symbol hyphen a and instead of uh, vertical two bars right which represents basically logical or we'll de write hyphen o right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial